coniferous forests. These forests are largely found in southern Alaska, southern Canada, parts of Norway, Sweden, Finland, and northern Russia and Siberia. Characteristics The winters are very cold and severe, and summers are warm and of short duration. This climate largely controls the growth of plant life. Due to low rainfall and severity of winters, the plant growth is very slow. The trees are of evergreen type with small needle-like leaves. The trees are tall and straight. The trees have soft wood and light weight. This wood has great demand in paper making, newsprint, matches and furniture. The important species of trees are spruce, pine, fir and larch. Cedar and hemlock also dominate in these parts. The animals of this region are small sized. They have a thick coat of fur around them to face the severe cold. The important animal species are musk, rat, beaver, fox, sable, reindeer and polar bear. Natural Vegetation and Wildlife The plants grow under the care of nature. The plants produce their own food from sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and mineral nutrients. Varying amount of sunlight and rainfall in different places of the world have given rise to different types of plants, trees or shrubs. Each of these plant groups form a large ecosystem occupying parts of the continent. Study at a glance. Natural vegetation Forest vegetation, grassland vegetation, desert vegetation, tundra vegetation. Natural vegetation. All the plants and plant life of a place growing naturally is known as natural vegetation. Natural vegetation occurs in three broad belts. Forests, grasslands, deserts. There are two major factors on which the growth of vegetation mostly depends. They are temperature, moisture. Forest vegetation A number of trees growing up in a region without the help of human beings is known as forests. The types of forests in the world can be broadly classified into tropical evergreen forests, tropical monsoon forests, temperate evergreen forests, the Mediterranean type of forests, temperate deciduous forests, coniferous forests. Tropical evergreen forests. These forests are also called tropical rainforests. These thick forests occur in the regions near the equator and close to the tropics. These regions are hot and receive heavy rainfall throughout the year. As there is no particular dry season, the trees do not shed their leaves altogether. This is the reason why they are called evergreen. These forests are found in the Amazon Basin, Zaire Basin, Malaysia, Myanmar, Vietnam, Indonesia and New Guinea. Characteristics The hot and humid climate of this region helps in the thick growth of vegetation. These are evergreen forests with broad leaves. These forests consist of very tall trees. These forests consist of hardwood trees. There are creepers which cling around the trees. The main species of trees are mahogany, ebony, bamboo, sandalwood, rosewood, rubber trees, etc. These forests are infested with terrible wildlife. Monkeys, lizards, apes and bats spend most of their life on the trees. In swampy parts, turtles, alligators, crocodiles and hippopotamus are found. The jaguars, leopards, pythons, elephants are the other native animals of these forest lands. Tropical monsoon forests. These forests are found in India, 
पाकिस्तान श्रीलंका बांग्लादेश म्यांमार साउथ चाइना थाईलैंड द फिलीपींस साउथ ईस्ट यूएसए ईस्ट अफ्रीका न्यूजीलैंड एक्सेट्रा कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन दीज एरियाज वेजिटेशन इज अफेक्टेड बाय द सीजनल कॉन्ट्रास्ट ऑफ टेंपरेचर एंड रेनफॉल trees shed their leaves in the dry season to conserve water and pick up new leaves in the rainy season these forests are not very dense and the trees are of medium height teak is an important commercial timber other important species of trees are sal deodar rosewood bamboo sandalwood acacia and eucalyptus the native animals of these areas are the tigers elephants leopards bears rhinoceros and a variety of snakes lions are found in the gir forests of gujarat the mediterranean type of forest this type of vegetation is found largely in the areas around mediterranean sea in spain south france italy Greece, Portugal, Syria, Israel, Turkey, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, California, Central Chile, etc. Characteristics: This region largely experiences winter rainfall and summers are dry. Plant growth largely takes place in winter while the plants are to be protected from the severity of heat during summer. The trees have broad leaves and are widely spaced. They are not thick and luxuriant. They are not very tall. The important species of trees are olive, oak, figs, pine, fir, cedar, cork tree and citrus fruit trees like orange and lemon trees. Grapes are largely grown in this region. Fruit cultivation is carried out in large scale here main fruit trees are grapes peaches plums apricot cherries almond and walnut temperate evergreen forests these forests are found in the warm temperate areas of south china south japan southeast australia east africa southeast brazil uruguay and southeast usa characteristics these forests have a mixed variety of trees the trees are thick and profuse important species of trees are oak pine wattle eucalyptus walnut camphor etc bamboos and mulberry trees are also found in these forests the people living in these parts of the world rear cattle pigs and sheep largely for wool meat and skin temperate deciduous forests this type of forests are largely concentrated in west and central europe east usa north china north japan south korea south chile and southern part of new zealand characteristics the cool climate of this region is favorable for forest growth the trees are generally deciduous in nature most of the trees have thick trunks and broad leaves they shed their leaves in autumn season and remain leafless during winter important species of trees are oak ash cedar redwood douglas fir maple beech and birch the native animals of these areas include deer foxes wolves squirrels beavers etc coniferous forests these forests are largely found in southern alaska southern canada parts of norway sweden finland and northern russia and siberia characteristics the winters are very cold and severe and summers are warm and of short duration this climate largely controls the growth of plant life due to low rainfall and severity of winters the plant growth is very slow the trees are of evergreen type 
with small needle-like leaves. The trees are tall and straight. The trees have soft wood and light weight. This wood has great demand in paper making, newsprint, matches and furniture. The important species of trees are spruce, pine, fir and larch. Cedar and hemlock also dominate in these parts. The animals of this region are small sized. They have a thick coat of fur around them to face the severe cold. The important animal species are musk, rat, beaver, fox, sable, reindeer and polar bear. Grassland Vegetation A land where grass-like vegetation grows and is the dominant form of plant life. Moderately dry climatic conditions and seasonal disturbances such as floods or fires, are generally conducive to the growth of grasses and prohibitive of that of trees and shrubs. The local names of different grasslands are as follows. Savannah in Africa, Campos in Brazil, Steppes in Eurasia, Priories in North America, Weld in South Africa, Pampas in South America, Downs in Australia. Depending upon the climates, there are two types of grasslands. Tropical grasslands, temperate grasslands. Tropical grasslands, they are also known as savanna grasslands. They are available in North Australia, Central America, Brazilian highlands, parts of Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina and in African areas. Characteristics in tropical grasslands, the temperature remains high and the amount of rainfall varies from 25 centimeters to 75 centimeters. Tall and thick grass grows here with scattered trees. Cattle rearing is carried out on these grasslands. The animals of these grasslands are both herbivores and carnivores. Zebra, giraffe, deer, Antelopes, etc., are the herbivorous animals of this region. The carnivores include lions, leopards, panthers, hyena, and jackal. Temperate grasslands. Temperate grasslands are found in southern parts of Canada and central USA, Argentina, central Russia, and southern Australia. These grasslands are known by different local names such as Priories in North America, Pampas in Argentina, Weld in South Africa, Steppes in Russia and Downs in Australia. Characteristics These areas receive scanty rainfall. Trees are almost absent but some trees like willows, alders and poplars are found. Grass is very short. The grass in summer turns brown and withers in autumn. Cattle is reared in these grasslands. The animal life of this region consists of antelopes, horses, wild asses, wolves, rabbits and wild dogs. Desert Vegetation A large, dry, barren region, usually having sandy or rocky soil, and little or no vegetation. Tropical deserts have developed on the western margins of the continents. They are found in North Africa, Sahara Desert, South Africa, Kalahari Desert, Chile, Atacama Desert, Southwest Australian Desert, Arabia and Indian Desert. Characteristics Deserts in the tropical and subtropical regions have high temperature and least amount of rainfall. Commonly, short shrubs occur in patches. The small trees of several types are characterized with thorns, thick stems, long roots and wax-coated leaves and stems. The major plants found are cacti, thorny bushes and coarse grasses. In the margins of the tropical deserts, acacia trees 
and date palm trees are found. Important animal species of the desert are camel, hyena, fox, jackal and wild asses. Certain reptiles, lizards and snakes which live in the soil are also available here. Tundra Vegetation This type of vegetation is found to the north of Arctic Circle. Characteristics Winters are very long and severe. The growth of plants is very restricted. Short saturated plants and trees grow adjoining the taiga forests. They consist of birches, junipers and willow trees. The main vegetation of this region is mosses, lichens and grasses. Here, summers are short and certain flower-bearing plants also grow. The animals of this region mainly consist of reindeer and musk ox. The other common animals are polar bear, sable, blue fox, lemmings and arctic hare. Forests and wildlife, valuable resource for the humankind. The forest not only provides timber, but also controls soil erosion. They also preserve wildlife because forests are the home of wild animals. The wildlife is also a valuable resource for the humankind. They are a part of our ecosystem. Within a particular ecosystem, the plants and animals interact and live together. Early human beings were largely dependent on animals for food. They used skin of the animals to cover their body. And later, they started domesticating animals. Animals adapt themselves to a particular habitat. Different types of animals have different types of habitat. Example, camels largely like hot desert habitat, while rhinoceros like swampy habitat. There is a close relationship between plants and animals in a particular ecosystem. The individual ecosystem is called biome. Each biome has a distinctive type of vegetation and animal life which is the consequence of the physical environment of land, air and water conditions. Summary Natural vegetation is the natural growth of plant life from the smallest grass to the tallest tree. Tropical evergreen forests are found in hot and humid climate. Tropical monsoon forests have trees of high commercial value. Temperate evergreen forests yield valuable timber. Mediterranean type of forest has trees with broad leaves but are not very tall. Temperate deciduous forests have trees which shed their leaves in autumn and remain leafless in winter. Coniferous forests have trees of evergreen type with small needle-like leaves. Tropical grasslands have tall and thick grass with scattered trees. Temperate grasslands have short grass growth with scattered trees. Desert vegetation has no forest growth, only zero fights. Tundra vegetation has short-statured plants and trees.